Jules Call and I'm here in the spectacular surroundings of the Upper Lake at Glendalough in the Garden of Ireland in Wicklow. It is a beautiful day and we are here to take photographs as part of the hashtag Canon Road Trip. What a week it has been. In Birmingham cameras earlier this week I got the opportunity to speak to master photographer and Canon expert Dave Newton and he has taught me so much. Even me, an amateur, is now going pro. So I got my hands, thanks to Birmingham cameras, on this amazing Canon EOS M5. I can't believe how versatile it is and how easy it has been to use. So I've unboxed it and made a little video for you. This is not just any camera. This is the Canon EOS M5. Let's roll that VT. Well, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. If you want to check out that video again or see any of the photographs that have been taken this week on the road trip, just check out Instagram and Facebook and look up hashtag Canon Road Trip. Earlier on today, I caught up with David Newton about this little baby, the Canon EOS M5, to see how he got on. Dave, welcome to Barbados. Yes, it certainly feels like it, doesn't it? I'm wearing loads of layers and kind of cooking under here. Well, I'm wearing a typical Irish outfit on the rare <laughs> day that it is sunny. I've got my furry bits on here, sunglasses to keep me warm and cool at the same time. I have to say, for the fact that we might be hiking around here, I do actually feel slightly more appropriately dressed than you, <laughs> even if I do look a little bit like a hobo. It's all about the rock star sunglasses, uh, it, it is totally the rock star sunglasses. We are not actually in Barbados. We are here in Glendalough at the Upper Lake, and it is a spectacular day today, a perfect day for taking photographs. You've been here before? I have been here before. I was here um, back end of last year, actually. I came and spent a day around, wandering around the lakes, going up into the mountains, having a look about. It's just so gorgeous here because everywhere you turn, it's beautiful. It's like everywhere looks like an Enya album cover. It does. <laughs> it is. It's, it's got very that Celtic classic, mysticism. It? It's just the essence of beautiful Irish in Wicklow in the Garden of Ireland. So, hashtag Canon Road Trip. How have you got on this week? Hashtag Canon Road Trip has gone very well. Uh, we've had a really uh, exciting time. We've seen an awful lot of very interesting places. We've met some wonderful people and we've had some great photo opportunities. I mean, what more could you ask for, really? Yeah. Um, on top of that, I've spent the week playing with this, uh, yes. which is my favourite camera at the moment. As much as I, I love some of my big DSLRs, this is just a really nice, small, compact camera that produces great quality. So it's the EOS M5. We talked about it the other day. I gave you a little rundown of the differences between DSLR and mirrorless. Yes, I learned a lot. You did? I did, yes, and I've been putting it into practice. You have? Have you been playing with an M5? Yeah, absolutely. I can't get over how easy it is to use for me as an amateur, mm -hmm. you as a super pro, and I think we might have some competition between our shots. Yeah. Oh, really? Are we getting that good? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, maybe it's just that you're a good teacher. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Well, I will so, go that far. <laughs> we started out the other day with some portrait photography. We did. Yes. Um, we, we had that session um, just a bit before, a bit before sunset in, in Dublin, in the city centre, and we had a wonderful model, didn't we? We had Kristen. Beautiful, the most amazing blue eyes. She was just incredible. They were, they're incredible blue eyes. And, and, and the cheekbone structure as well. She just took light really well. Mm -hmm. um, and I was showing you bits about using flash, uh, how lighting can make or break a picture. Mm -hmm. We started off with some ambient light. Uh, and then we progressed to using some, some Canon speed lights to really sculpt the light around our face, bring out those cheekbones, really bring out those eyes as well. Um, and then the whole time we were using the M5. 
the whole time we were putting it through its paces in like a high-end portrait scenario. Yeah, it's amazing how versatile it is because throughout the course of the week I've been watching hashtag Canon Road Trip on Instagram mm -hmm. and Facebook and looking at the photographs that everybody that you've been taking and if people want to follow you on Instagram it's what at photo positive. Photo positive right? it is at photo positive you can come follow me uh, on Instagram. And check them out on Facebook as well because um, the photographs this week have just been absolutely amazing and all from this one amazing camera. All from the M5. Yeah and you've done macro shots as well. We've done Where macro so yesterday we were in Cork mm -hmm. and we went to the English market and then we went and did uh, a food styling session so we had a chef come in uh, a guy called John he's an amazing character uh, I think he's been on TV over here as well and uh, he runs uh, a place called The Devil's Menu and he came along and he styled some food he bought some food in the English market some really nice uh, he bought some langoustine and he bought some scallops um, and a few other bits of seafood and some vegetables and then he put it all together in a really beautifully presented plate uh, and he explained how he presents food how he lays it out to be eaten uh, and then I set up some lighting and some, some scenarios so that we could photograph it and demonstrate to people how, while this might be like a, a street, in inverted commas, or travel camera, it was actually being used in a kind of commercial food photography way and it could still deliver great results. So I was using the macro lens, um, there's a, the EFF, uh, EFM 28mm macro lens, it allows you to get in really close to your subjects to really pull out the details. Combined with some interesting lighting, we got some really lovely pictures. Amazing, so going from all the way in on macro to all the way out on the landscapes, the Cliffs of Moher. The Cliffs of Moher, yes. How did you get on there? I saw some very funny pictures <coughs> in the rain and hailstones, you guys got soaked. I was we, like, welcome to Ireland. We got drenched. The Cliffs of Moher were, um, well, beautiful. I've never been up there before. So um, it's somewhere that's always been on my list of places to go and I'm certainly coming back when we get some better weather. But that said, uh, we wandered up and we looked in the distance as we left the car and I said, oh, there's a, you know, there's a bit, of a, bit of a storm coming, but it'll be a passing shower, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And after 40 minutes of hailstones, they were beginning to question my concept of passing. Um, then we had, after the hailstones, we had probably another, I don't know, 30 or so minutes of rain before it finally cleared enough for us to actually be able to do something with it. Um, and I did point out that that had indeed passed. Mm -hmm. It maybe took a little longer than expected. But anyway, the, the, the sun sort of came out. Uh, we took a model up there. We had um, the wonderful Esme Wallace. I believe she was one of the, I think she was Irish Beauty of the Year or something in 2012. Uh, sorry, Esme, if you're watching for not quite remembering exactly what your title was. But she was absolutely brilliant. Total trooper to, to stand up there in her beautiful red ball gown in, in the, the freezing cold in the freezing cold well it was worth it because the results of the photos are absolutely amazing if anybody wants to have a look at all these photographs hashtag canon road trip you can look them up on instagram there's loads of stuff up on twitter and facebook there is my facebook page will be having more and more as we go um, along with my instagram feed I'm, I'm not putting them all up at once i'm just kind of dropping them in as and when i don't want to flood instagram all at once so what is your overall verdict for the week on the canon eos m5 how would you sum it up Amazing. One word, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Um, it, it has it been does it all. incredibly versatile. The fact that we have a range of EFM specific lenses is really nice. So here I've got an 11 22. So this what is our, our wide angle. You're on a 15 to 45. So this would be more of a standard general purpose lens. It's a bit like in full frame DSLR terms, maybe like a 24 to 70 uh, type lens. This is more like a 16 to 35. So it's, uh, it, it's more wide angle. Here where we're going to be shooting some landscapes, it's, it's going to capture that wider view. Then having the macro lens, the AFM 28, allows us to get in close. And some of the longer lenses as well, there's a 55 to 200 for things that are much, much further away. So here, for example, if you want to photograph the ducks that are behind us, the one that's coming over thinking it's going to get fed, um, that you might take a 55 to 200, which is going to allow you to get that closer view. Mm. Um, so having a range of lenses in what is quite a new system for Canon is brilliant. And then of course the ability to add in some of the other Canon lenses. So with the lens adapter, you can fit every other Canon lens on mm. here. The which, weight of it as well is amazing. I mean, for travelling, this would be just absolutely ideal, wouldn't it? it would. I mean, if it does it all, you're just going to need your couple of little lenses on it and the weight of it and the size of it. It's a dream camera. It is. I mean, by way of example, I've got my big bag with me. Mm -hmm. That big bag normally weighs... 20 kilos when I'm hiking of big DSLR kit. This week I've got 10 lenses in there. I couldn't ever carry 10 lenses. Uh, and this, and every time I pick it up, I'm like, something's missing. Yeah. I feel like I've left something behind, but I haven't. It's all here because it just, it, it's such a lightweight kit and so versatile.
Fantastic, brilliant. So hashtag Canon Road Trip, that's what it's all about and we're celebrating 30 years of EOS, which stands for, I've forgotten, obviously. How can you have forgotten? Gary, what is it? Electronic optical system or electro-optical system. Okay. Do you remember what it also means, what it was also related to? Uh, something romantic, it was something to do with something the romantic. Greek god Greek of the sun. goddess god, oh, god, of god, the god. dawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said I was a good teacher. <laughs> you are. <laughs> but we're doing just when it comes to the cameras, maybe not history. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for being here for the week. Thanks for teaching us everything. And the Canon EOS M5 is what it's all about. Well, what a fantastic week it has been on the Canon road trip. A big, huge thank you to Canon Ireland, to Dave Newton for teaching us all things photography, and to Birmingham Cameras for giving me a go of the Canon M5. Stay tuned to the Birmingham Cameras Facebook page for loads more videos like this. From me, Jules Carl, see you soon.